De- Debbie? <laughs> Don't look at me! Don't fucking look at me! She- oh! <laughs> But I do have a funny story to tell you, like similar to the one that Joseph told you. But Mm -hmm. this one's funnier, I think. (laughs) You had a delivery and um, you have to park across the street. So there's an intersection. You have to park across the way from this apartment. And you have to park and then walk on this sidewalk um, to get to that apartment. So he was at the intersection and it said, um, you know, you can walk. So he was crossing and he got whistled at. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it was broad daylight and he got whistled and hollered at yeah by these two men <laughs> in a truck yes <laughs> yes joseph's like i don't get it it's like i i have i have the physique of a guy you know the way i walk and everything he's he that kinda, long black hair yes that long black hair it's just like mystifying everybody <laughs> <laughs> everyone, men, women, everyone in between, everyone. How did Joseph feel? He he was like he came to me. He was like, oh my god. He's like, I feel, I feel violated. Oh. I was like, what happened? What happened? And he told me the story, and I was like, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I laughed so hard to the pits of my stomach. I, I love like it. could not stop laughing. I was like. <laughs> It was great. I was like, oh my God. He's like, yeah, I just, I, he's like, I don't feel good about that. Aww. And he's like, couldn't they see? Like, he dresses like a yeah, guy, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, does he? I he mean, because like, I'm so used yeah, to it. He's just like a guy. Or maybe androgynous? Could be androgynous. I know. It's the long black hair. It's though. the long black hair. Yeah. The guys don't care. They're like, Ooh. they don't care. <laughs> long black hair. Long black hair. I like that. Exotic. Haitian lover. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like frightened, like what? Oh, it was funny. <laughs> Caught him off guard, but yeah. And then you heard that story just now. Yeah, like, yeah. The girl actually thought he was a girl. <laughs> but yeah, that's my stories. <laughs> <laughs> gosh, I'm trying to think. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I have a question for you. Yeah. If if I can ask. Do you have bad <laughs> period poo-poos? No, I don't. What is Gosh that? dang what it, is, Debbie. Wait, wait, you what does are... that mean, though? Like, bad period poop? Yeah, okay. So, there's this one guy. I just... I don't go on TikTok very often. I just go there to post our clips. And then maybe if I'm there, like, I'll just scroll through a couple things. And there's this, like, guy on there and... He's watching a girl's uh, video clip and she's like, let me tell you about period poops. <laughs> and he was like, he stopped the video and he's like, what? What is period poo? <laughs> like he would just be like, what the fuck is period poo? Like, yeah. what's the difference? Yeah. So I was just wondering if you had a difference. No. Because I, I definitely have a difference. You do? I do. That's why I'm looking at you. Pain, is it painful? Yes. That's why I'm looking at you. Yes, I'm like, I, think I, I think I passed a TikTok video and a girl mentioned period poops. And yeah. I was like, what is that? I'm, I was kind of curious. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm like, so she's jealous like of a you. Pain, like a pain in her butt or something. She's like, Ooh. it's a. It could be a lot of things. Like, it could be like when a you're cramping. Pain. Oh. The cramping gets intense. Mm. Because I guess maybe you're pushing and it's like too much for your uterus. Oh. Cramping. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, they're, and they're just ugh, disgusting. Period poos are like the poop itself. Yeah, it's like way more grosser than a normal one. Oh, I don't know something with the chemistry of your body or something. Mm-hmm. That's what I would guess. But I was just wondering. I was like, ah, Debbie probably doesn't have period poos. Nothing hurts for her. It, nothing. Uh, fortunately, yeah. Fortunately, like nothing. I don't have that. Like as bad as you get, you know? yeah, yeah. Like any like, like body physical pain, she she barely has any. And me, I want to be dumped in a bottle of coconut CBD oil every day. Oh. Like just dunk me in and all that <laughs> CBD. Like then I would feel like good. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. Yeah. No, I know when you're on your period, you're like debilitated. Like you can't. Even, oh yeah. 
I have a video you. of it. You guys can watch it on YouTube. Just can't function. I'm right here. Yeah, I was like here. I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was because because I was in so much pain, but I was very committed to like vlogging too. So I was trying. It was really difficult, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> At first, I was very conscious about putting videos of me like without makeup or like you know i'm not put together mm -hmm. and now i'm just like fuck it fuck it. fuck it just put a i feel liberated i'm like yeah, yeah that's my naked face that's my naked that's face. my naked face everyone and this is my painted face and like both <laughs> or not i don't care <laughs> <laughs> no that's nice that you're confident in yourself that you're just like eh. yeah yeah it's just, like you just said you know like ugh, we're older yeah like, let's just cut that shit. Cut it, man. Because I was watching some other YouTube videos, and I'm just like, damn, your information is so good, but you're so rigid. Mm. So I'm like, fuck, as a viewer, I want to see someone that's, like, loose. Ooh, <laughs> I cracked my neck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, yeah, um, of course, I'm still getting used to it, but honestly, just fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, just get on with it. I think that's, like, how we should just approaching life in general just like fuck it man fuck it fuck it just, life is too short yeah man. just overthinking things and like worrying about like how people see you as and stuff mm -hmm. like that oh my gosh oh speaking of poops man it's like mm -hmm. my dad has been like had issues for like yeah you told for me a while yeah right? what was it, it what got was so it? it's been it got so bad where mm -hmm. he's like could could barely eat anything like he's like <gasps> oh my he's god very uncomfortable he hasn't gone yeah so my sister Donna eventually finally just takes him to this like Colonial colonic school. like uh -huh. therapy place, uh -huh. like somewhere in Huntington Beach. This nice Hawaiian lady, Chinese Hawaiian lady. Ooh, I love her. it. That's that sounds great. And uh, they uh, they flushed it out. <gasps> what was it? Did they show him? Uh, they didn't show. Donna saw like little bits of it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. On YouTube, and she said like it was very. Like lot, lots of gas. Oh, <laughs> so like he was in so much. He was so much pain. discomfort. But, but, he, but he feels a lot better now because she gave him like a to go home with. She like he still had like a little bit of blockage, mm -hmm. so she gave him some kind of weird like magnesium powder. Ah, and then like told him to drink it yeah. with this and like mineral oil, like just a whole mm -hmm. bunch of different concoction, and drinking lemon juice too and stuff. Yeah, and it's just like loosen that up with that acidic, yeah, acid, yeah, yes. yeah, and he. Supposedly, just got it all out yesterday. Oh my god! He's yesterday, so relieved. oh my god, I feel relieved yeah. for him. Yeah, that's not, that sounds like so much, so much pain because I also used to go through so much stomach pain, mm. like digestive mm -hmm, issues. Mm -hmm. But um, that's how I turned to eating. Like I was, that's why I was going to extremes on like veganism you remember when mm. i was like really extreme vegan yes. and like fruitarian and then like yeah, fruitarian yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was all that because i had a lot of digestive issues Got it. that's why i went on this crazy journey i didn't just do it because i want to <laughs> yeah. if i really want to i would have just eaten like chocolate chip cookies and <laughs> oh bagels with cream cheese and salami <laughs> salami salami yeah <laughs> But um, I'm so relieved for your dad because yeah. I know that even one night is painful, and you like dealt with it for so long. Yeah, yeah, it it was really bad, and like um, but he was taking too much like different laxatives and stuff, and it was just like nothing Ooh, was really coming out. Yeah, it was just like bad. So shit. so finally they got that shit out. Oh my god, they got that shit out. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. And don't be ashamed if you got stool that is too hard that can't come out. Just go get it looked at. Go get it looked at. Go, go take care of yourself, take right? Take care of yourself. No matter no what. Live. No, no matter what. Yeah. So he's feeling a lot better these days. So that's good. Oh, my God. I bet. Because, you know, you've, you've lived with your dad all your life and mm -hmm. stuff. So you know him. Mm -hmm. So you know him when he's in discomfort, even though mm -hmm. someone else can't tell. And you can yeah. tell how happy he is. Oh, yeah. He's like, I can play Mahjong now. I can play Mahjong. I have energy to play. He's so this like, whole time, was he just laying down most of the time when he was in discomfort? No, he was, he was took in a walk. And so he still went for a walk and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But he wasn't eating as much or he was afraid to eat certain mm -hmm. things and just was not it was not good but now he's just like 
has more energy mm-hmm. and like feels a lot better. So do, do, this is all can you imagine all the toxins like build yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, and then the fermentation. Yeah. You, fermentation. It, yeah, there's yeah. definitely fermentation going on in yeah. there. If you, if it's there for a while, oh. it's fermenting, baby. Yes. But um, what was I gonna say? Does he have to go for monthly treatments or maybe two um, or three it's, times it, it was like a, a year? I think they paid for like a, a couple treatments, and so mm-hmm. he's supposed to go tomorrow. And just to get any remnants out yeah. and stuff like that. And then, he's like, yeah, let's go. Do it. Let's just do it. But I'm it. sure he was scared at first. He was like, yeah, what? Yeah, but then luckily Donna was with him. Yeah. So he was like, didn't feel alone. Because like, I've had, you know, like something close to colon. I don't know why they did it. I just don't remember. It was like from mm-hmm. some, some kind of surgery. But mm-hmm. it hurts oh. when they put stuff up your butt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, have you ever had one of those medicines where you... Oh, the medicine you put up your butt? That ah. also hurts. That also hurts. That also I hated that. To help you poop? Is that what the message is? No, for? it's for like when you're throwing, because I had the flu a lot oh. as a kid. So you, you can't feed them medicine because oh. you'll just throw it up. So I had a lot of those missiles up my butt. I hated oh. it. I hate it. I hate it. They probably don't even have that anymore. Yeah. I, I, they probably come up with something like smarter. <laughs> They're like, mm, up the butt. Like, mm, she's not taking it in the mouth. Up the butt. Oh my God. No. Up, up, up the butt. No. <laughs> it sucks. Oh yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, man, digestive issues, that's the thing. I have so many poo stories. <laughs> you do. I, you have Amazing. a lot. I, I haven't told you this one, I don't think. Okay, go ahead. Let me try you. Let me try you, okay? So, it was in uh, junior or senior year in high school. Mm -hmm. And I was, I think I was kind of seeing this person or hanging out. I didn't really understand our our relationship. It was really weird. Uh But, like, I'm pretty sure he liked me. Ah, okay. But, like, it's weird. We would just hang out, just him and me. And, like, I would go over to his house and sleep with him. Just, like, sleep. Side by side. Yeah. And like literally, they went, literally just sleep. Yeah. Like never we never had sex. Was he like a Christian? I'll guy? tell you later. I uh. never told you about this. Yeah, it's so strange. It's so fucking strange story. But I'll tell you who it is afterwards. But yes. yeah, like like during lunch, we would go hang out at his house and like cuddle and like Oh, okay. It was really weird. So unlikely. Okay. Of, like of a pair. Yeah, yeah. Really. And then so um but he told me to meet him at Barnes and Nobles over at Metro Point. Okay. Okay, so I meet him there. And before I get a smoothie, right? Uh-oh. And I'm lactose intolerant. and I, I didn't know that you're straight up lactose intolerant. No, but, like, it's not ba- as bad as before. But, oh, like, God. I had a bad smoothie over mm. at Jamba Juice. Fuck you, Jamba. <laughs> I had a... And I went upstairs. You know, like, there's a second story to Barnes and Nobles, Yes, right? yes. And I was like, st- we we're going to meet up to like study or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I guess I was just horny or whatever. But I was there. <laughs> and um, he's like telling me he's about to meet me. But I like need to fucking go poop so bad. Like my stomach was hurting all of a sudden. Oh, just like no. it just turned on like that. Like pain and like I need to diarrhea. Oof. And I go in and out of the bathroom like four or five times. Damn. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> this is going to get worse. Oh, no. This is going to get so much worse, Debbie. Are you ready? I- I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. You'll still see me as your friend. Yes, Liz. I your see. closest friend. Yes. <laughs> Debbie's like, tell me. Tell me tell. everything. Okay, so I'm already self-conscious as a junior or senior high school girl. Right. And I, I'm going in and out of the bathroom. There's people in there, and I can't poop when people are there. Oh, no. Yeah, because it makes me super nervous. Because Self-conscious. Like, yeah, because yeah. I make lots of noises when yes, I poop. Yes, yes. <laughs> and diarrhea, of course. Oh, my God. It was going to be, like, so bad. I can tell already. So I go I go and sit down on the toilet, and then I hear someone come in, and I'm just like, fuck! And I put up my pants, and I go back out. And I do this like six or seven times and he finally meets me up and I was like, 
<laughs> sweating. sweating. Like you have cramps. Sweating, you're sweating, cramping. Like don't know what to do with myself. And I just know that oh, I'm going to shit in my pants. Oh, no. I've been it's there. It's so bad. Okay. And like. Um, I finally made the decision. I made the call and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking going to get in the car. And I I parked really far, like on that one level. So I go in there and I start driving home and I make it home. And I, like my stomach is hurting so bad. So you just so like bad. peaced out. You're like, yeah, bye. I was like, peace out. Go. Bye. 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 And he was just like, whoa. Maybe that's why he wanted me more. Because I was like, peace out. <laughs> He's like, oh. She's so hard to play so, hard again. Yeah, like hot, hot. hot. Wow, well, I just need the fucking shit in my pants. <laughs> Worked in your favor. So I'm the same house, the same hi- house. I'm driving my my you know my uh, Honda Civic, and I drive home like a maniac. Right, I finally get to here. I park right, and I'm really bad at parking because I'm only sixteen or seventeen or something mm-hmm. like that park like crazy and i'm trying to get out but there's a beam in the middle oh i didn't know how to back up into the garage mm. so i just went in and as i was getting out i couldn't hold it any longer Aww. i shat in my pants hey, like it not just a, not a gloop leap it's a <laughs> <laughs> like that poop wanted to go to space just yeah like, pff, pff, pff. Oh, damn <laughs> like I was like, oh, my oh. God. I was like, no, are you serious? I'm like, I already think so less of myself. He never got to see it, Liz. It's all good. I don't know if he, he didn't. I don't know. Maybe I took off my pants or something when we were sleeping. I don't. That's it. We never had sex. Oh, okay. We never, ever had sex. You wanted to. Maybe it was kind of like innocent okay. at first. And then it was so weird because like prom came around and then I asked him if he wanted because we were hanging out all the time. Yeah. And I asked him and he was like, nah, nah. And then, oh, oh wait, I got to bleep that out. I got to bleep <laughs> that fucking thing out. What time is it, Debbie? So I know. It's at the 1740. 17, four, 17. Okay. 17 minutes 17 to 40 seconds well there's this guy that we were working with and i don't know he was just acting really i i oh no we were cool back then mm-hmm. we were cool back then that was the beginning of our relationship with one of my coworkers, and he was really cool like i i we were becoming good buddies he had a girlfriend at the time so mm-hmm. we were just good um and then he broke up with her and then i was like oh i can ask him Cause he's free and we're cool. Mm. And he just broke up with his girlfriend. So I asked my coworker and he said, yeah, he was like, so he was so happy. Oh. So, I, um, we ended up going to prom together, but like a day before the prom, this guy that I've been hanging out with from school comes up to me in the middle of where we were doing like, um, what's it called? Fire, fire thing where we'd like fire drill. Oh, okay. We're doing a fire drill, like a massive one, the whole mm-hmm. school. And he comes up to me in this field and he's like, do you have someone to go to the prom with? And I was like, yeah, I already do. I asked you. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he like leaves. I was like, what is up with this? It was so strange. I think like, I don't even know how it even made sense. Like, why did we even fucking hang out? So weird. (laughs) So weird. You know, I don't know. Is he older? No, same. Same. Okay. You'll probably be like, what the fuck, Liz? Like, why didn't you say this? Why am I like blanking out? I don't think I ever told you guys. I guess you never told us. Yeah. No. This guy that you hung out with. Was so it when weird. you were hanging out with like, like you were hanging out with other people and stuff like that? Like at mm-hmm. that time. So like. I was hanging out with like everybody. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I was basically hanging out with like whoever like I clicked with or whatever mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah interesting very weird very right weird. so you just didn't do anything with him sexual no i don't think we ever even kissed but it was like we knew to like at, at, during lunch we would come over to his house and just cuddle just you and him yeah okay <laughs> i mean i don't know what to say liz i mean Fucking that's pretty innocent high school people i know yeah but you know what what caught me really off guard is that like you know you said for hinge the app, um, if you pay pre- premium, you can also put in height yes, information. Yes. That's so crazy. Because what if the person, the one that you're meant for is not the height that is ideal? 
I right? you think, right? Like it's just yeah. yeah, attraction. I guess for some people, like physical attraction is so important to them mm-hmm. that the height matters so much to them. To some people, that they're willing to pay premium to x out the people that don't meet the height requirement. It's crazy, I know, but. Because I'm like, oh man, you just like lost your chance. What if the your forever true love of everything just is right in by that, that inch. by a couple of inches or an inch or half an inch? Yeah, because I've dated people shorter than me, mm. men and women, mm-hmm. and so like I just don't understand like the height thing. It's a it's a big Idealism. deal for women. It's a big deal for women. Some women like really care about height just how, how some guys care a lot about weight mm. yeah, so. oh my god on premium can you do weight no no you can't do oh weight oh my can't do god weight. that would be fucking controversial so but height is height is you're right it's <laughs> controversial they're both controversial oh my god i think it's i think it's all kind of fucked up like you see if you wrote if you had a blog and you were writing about hindus controversial <laughs> premium uh uh premium what setting yeah that it can be height i think that would get buzzed it's a i mean it's a thing you ever think about writing blogs for fun for funsies i don't know man i because you're witty you have really good witty writing and you're very articulate when you write yeah it's true but i'm like i don't know (laughs) i just i'm just reading out there i'm just wondering if you've ever thought about it yeah i mean i don't know like to actually sit down and write is it's it's it doesn't come as naturally to me as it does to for some people. So mm, really, like, well, you hide it well. Thank you. Yeah, you do because yeah. you're always editing Donna's Donna's and work. I, and I, I help, I help her. I, I just I, honestly, I, I reread her stuff. I go over her stuff, but mm-hmm. I don't really edit. I just she will like just like we'll brainstorm together and uh, mm-hmm. I'll like kind of look over it and see if it flows well and stuff. But mm-hmm. overall, like it's Donna's idea and stuff like that. So, um. But yeah, um, man, that shit story, huh? <laughs> that shit story. Man, no, it reminds it reminds me when I well, I, luckily I wasn't meeting up with a guy or anything. I was just like coming back from Korean barbecue with the family. Oh god! And I was driving. Barbecue. I don't want yeah, I raw was driving. meat. Did you eat too much? I don't Maybe know. uncooked meat. Just Korean barbecue, man. The meat. Does it always do that to you? Uh, not always. Not oh, always. Okay, but I want that. And you shut. And I was driving home, and I was like, oh. oh, yeah, it's such a weird <laughs> I'm feeling. I'm sweating. Isn't it such a weird feeling? And my family's like all like on edge because they know that I'm on edge. I'm like, I have to go. So Wait, bad. so no one, no one else could drive. I don't know. I just felt the need to drive. You wanted maybe. to take control because maybe because yeah. I had to be in the car. I don't know. And maybe Don drank oh. some beer or something like that. Yeah. And so I'm in the car. Like, I'm sweaty and I'm like. <laughs> And I like I like park the car in the driveway. And I, I run and I'm like I'm so close, and I don't quite. Make it. <laughs> it's just that little little I, stretch. I don't make that. Toilet. Is it okay? It like it like I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. And it was just and you, on the toilet seat. It oh was, it was my so god! So it wasn't you had your pants down? I had my pants down. Oh shit! And then Donna's like, De- Debbie. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me. She's like, oh. It's like, I. Like the exorcist is happening in there. I shed my pants, Donnie. I shed my pants. Oh, man. I didn't make it. <laughs> Donna's sweet. Donna, like, hand me some clean underwear and left me alone. <laughs> Oh my god, that was horrible. That was that was one of the worst feelings. Oh my, it, it the pain is like no other. It's a strange sensation. It's a horrible, but the 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 pain and knowing that like you're so close yet so mm-hmm. far from relief and oh my god, the mind games, the mind games when you have diarrhea. It's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> and you're just sweating and you're. Just like, and your your sphincter is holding so tight. <laughs> yeah. so, your body's going through so, so much tight. stress. So much. Your body is so tense. Strained. So strained. So pushed to its limits. Pushed to its limits. Oh, the 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 nervous sweating is what frustrates me. Oh my gosh. 
It's yeah. it's gnarly how the body can act like that. I know. It's not sexy. It's not cool. No, it's But not. you know what, you guys? We're not trying to be sexy here. We're trying to be real with you. Okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, anyone that you think is sexy, they've had their moments too. Oh. Everyone does. Oh. Okay. Oh. Everyone's had their There's, moments. There's I don't believe you if you're like, I've never had like an, an accident before. Fuck you. Uh, you are Who's such a liar. A liar. Yeah. 